Hi everyone, welcome to the next um, picture on this page of clothing from Rooms of Wonder by Johanna Basford. Now, <coughs> excuse me, we have this um, very pretty um, looking skirt that Johanna's drawn for us um, to do today. I am pondering colours at the moment, not really sure where to go. I was tempted to grab some blues, but we've got a blue skirt on our um, other dress, so I think we want something different. I'm thinking maybe we'll start with a really delicate pink and then sort of build up from there. So my lightest pink is this rose pink. And I think, let's just move you to the middle just a tad, there we go. I'm gonna do over most of the skirt with the rose pink and then just a delicate layer. And then I can start to think about what to do. Now I'm not sure if this is a belt here or just a pretty sort of, decorative buckle so I'm going to colour it in the pink <clears throat> now we seem to have panels here so I'm wondering whether they might be different colours but I don't know I'd quite like to do it all pink apart from these this line which is obviously a sort of definite stripe which I thought I would match with the one up there but I sort of quite like the idea of the rest being quite pink so I'm going to just go over in a light pink as I sort of clarify my thoughts, really. I mean, you get, I think some people would wait, think, and then start colouring, but I'm just too impatient for that. I just want to get stuck in. <laughs> I'm quite anxious to colour today because anxious, it's not the right word. Um, I want to get on with colouring today then because I haven't done much yet. I made one video where I reviewed some new pencils, which was great fun. But um, <clears throat> I'm gonna pop this pencil aside, grab a slightly darker one, sorry for coughing. I am just, um, I just had something to eat and it's stuck in my throat. Yeah, if it's just, I'm using the grenadine light, it's slightly darker, I'm gonna mark out some darker areas. So I think certainly to start with on the edge of here, and then I'll go from there. <clears throat> yeah, anyway, I was testing out some pencils, so although I coloured um, using them, it wasn't quite the same. Oh, <laughs> look at my, it's gone a little bit wonky. I think we could call him Concord. <laughs> mm. I don't know if you all know what Concord is. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, aeroplane, which, um, it's very fast and uh, yeah, it used to be used for transatlantic flights from, I think it went to New York, but I'm not 100% sure. It may have gone to different places and there was just one um, class. I've looked, I've been on there. Um, there's one, I mean, there wasn't only one made as far as I'm aware, but there's one in a museum in Bristol that uh, father-in-law took us to actually and uh, we went on it we queued to go and have a look this was quite fascinating I thought the children perhaps not so much so having not known about it but um, it was very fast but I asked them you know was it all first class and they said well it's actually they used to call it Concord class because it was better than first class and everybody was the same in the same. It's quite a small plane, so everyone was in the same area. I don't know what to call it, section. Um, <clears throat> and um, they showed us the seats at the very front where the royals would sit. Uh, apparently um, Princess Diana, <coughs> excuse me, Princess Diana used it a lot. Um, so that but also the queen and prince philip used it i don't know about anybody else of the royals they didn't really mention any other names gosh the sun is coming out i'm gonna have to uh i may have to stop it's uh it's not quite on this part of the page yet but uh, hopefully we can get this done before um it moves around it's get, just decided to twinkle into my eye which is lovely <laughs> but anyway um so I find it quite fascinating and uh, they always serve champagne and you know the food was on proper china plates not like um, you know the economy class that 
we're probably all used to. Although I haven't flown for such a long time. It's just... I feel like there's a lot of places in the UK I haven't yet explored that I'd like to explore before I fly. I feel like flying is very extravagant, and both cost-wise, obviously, but also for the environment. It's just a personal opinion. I'm not judging anyone who flies. I know, um, like a lot of my family, um, some of my family live abroad, so they fly to see their relatives, and I can absolutely understand that. And some people feel that there's no beating going abroad and getting life experiences. And I can see that point of view too, but personally, it doesn't sit right for me. But as I say, that's not to say that I'm going to judge anybody else on their decision. I don't like to do that. Because someone says to me, I'm going to X place, I'm good for you. As long as you go, have a good time and make the most of it. I'm going to use the purple for this line, for this uh, piece. Um, then, then that's that's great, you know. If you go and don't enjoy it, and you know, then that's I don't that's not good. Obviously, but then you probably couldn't predict that <laughs> before you went. If you were dreading it and didn't want to go, then don't go. But uh, anyway. And I know in some countries internal flights are the way to travel as well. In the UK there are a few places, um, particularly in Scotland if you're trying to get um, or on I from remote islands and things like that, you know. And I'm going to go here. Now, I'm rather liking... Oh, I can't see my screen. I'm trying to look at my screen. The sun's right in my face. I'm rather liking how delicate the pink is on this skirt. Sorry, I've got to grab my hanky. I, have, I haven't forgotten that buckle. Not, it's not going to be pink. So, um, I'm sort of keen not to do much more with it. I am going to add another layer of the light pink, I think. But I don't want to overdo it. I want to keep it looking light. So I'm going back to my rose pink and I'm just going to re-emphasise those areas on the edges that I want darker. Like that. And then take the colour towards the middle a bit. But I don't want it too dark. So that's really perhaps a little bit darker than I'd hoped. But anyway, I shall match it up now. You could leave yours a bit lighter if you preferred. Maybe just a little bit there. I'm quite sure how to do this middle one. I was just reading the news. It's not the best thing to do. But I was actually. Um, I don't. What I do is I tend to look at the headlines and then read things that aren't too depressing. I was actually reading about heat pump heat pumps. Apparently they use quite effectively in other countries but we don't really use them very much here and the government are trying to incentivize people to use them. However I did look into it, we've just recently had a new boiler and the boiler, these are for um, hot water and heating in the house. Um, for those of you I know in uh, America for example you have different names <clears throat> for these sorts of devices. So what our boiler does is it heats the water on demand when you want it. So if when you're having your showers or washing your hands or washing up, whatever you might be doing, it heats it up. And um, that's great. And it also does the central heating, so it heats all the radiators. Um, but I looked into getting a heat pump, but I understand from what I read, I don't know if I was right, you have to have pipe work put in through all the walls, um, cool grey, which is quite a big undertaking. And um, it's quite expensive to run. I mean, it won't be as expensive to run eventually, but at the moment it seems to be. So uh, I didn't do it. Now, I'm just going to add one little touch. Do you see where we've got this line coming across here? And I didn't do the panels in different colours. I'm thinking I might use this colour, which was the purple, just to draw on top of that line, just to make it look colourful rather than black. I don't know how well it will show up. I'm just going to do my best there, just to add a little colour. 
but yes, and also you need very good insulation, which we don't have. Um, it's uh, our house is very drafty, and uh, we try to. Um, I'm just doing a tiny bit of shadowing there. Insulate, but um, we haven't had much success. I just want to emphasise the shadow in the gathers on the skirt and that'll be the end. It's just not suitable for all housing, the way our houses are built I think. And apparently sometimes you need bigger radiators, you need a water tank, which we don't have space for because our houses weren't built with one in. So you know, it just didn't quite work for us, but we might have to get one eventually, we'll see. But there's my pink skirt. I would never, ever, ever dream of wearing a skirt like that, but I do think it looks quite pretty. <laughs> it's just not my thing. I wear, I'm a jeans girl. <laughs> I just wear my jeans. Sometimes leggings. If I wear a skirt, it's it's uh, called Roy with leggings under. <laughs> I wouldn't wear something like that at all. But I do think it looks quite pretty. So um, that's me for today. So uh, thank you for watching. We'll have something... Um, else later on this afternoon but uh, for now that's me have a lovely day and happy colouring <laughs>